r slash ask reddit, what gives you the biggest ego boost ever? What was it? 2007, Scotland, she said she liked my shirt. We talked for about another 5 minutes and had to keep going our ways. The shirt is long gone but the memories remain. Thank you kind stranger. A short kind word can be more uplifting than the most eloquent speech. In any case, it felt better to hear it. Compliments either embarrass me or I'm indifferent about them. When someone genuinely laughs at my jokes. When you make a joke and the whole group laughs and gt, and gt, and gt. When my dog chooses to cuddle with me instead of anyone else in the room. When my cat chooses to cuddle with me at all. We all know you keep fresh cut ham in your pockets. When I visit friends I haven't seen in years and both their dogs are pushing each other off the recliner to sleep next to me when they and another friend were in the room. Overhearing someone compliment or say something positive about you when they don't think you are listening. When the older black lady calls me sugar or honey. When my son tells me that I'm the best mama ever. It makes me feel like I can conquer the world. The video of the mom talking to the camera saying something like I'm a bad or lazy mom for feeding my kids fast food and the kid tells her she's a good mom. The feels. I know you felt that too. The compliment I got from some random woman at a bar a few weeks ago where she said I, a man, had nice hair and then disappeared into the crowd never to be seen again. I remember your words random lady and thank you for them. I said that to a chick one time in passing. When I got out of the bathroom she was there waiting for me. Took her home that night. People calling me a hacker in a game. I remember back several patches ago in Dota I played nothing but brood mother, got really good at how she worked and became an absolute monster at managing her spiders. I was smashing an enemy group so hard several people accused me of smoking and that made me incredibly proud of myself. Then they released a patch that completely broke how the spiders functioned and I uninstalled the game, never looked back. When you haven't seen someone in a while and they say you look great and you know it's genuine. I used to have this when I was hitting the gym, I stopped in the pandemic and got like 20 pounds, now I get the total opposite, wow man you are getting fat. Yeah I know motherfucker. I love that. Haha <laughs> or dear, smiley face. Maybe this is why my friends avoid me because I greet them with dude you look like shit, what happened to you? When the girls and the gays compliment my outfit. Some of the nicest compliments on my looks I've ever had are off gay guys. They're seemingly a lot less hesitant about letting guys know they find them hot even if they know the guy is completely straight. When you make your partner come. Is this more of a boost for a male or female? I, 25F, make my partner finish 99% of the time unless we're too tired. It's hot don't get me wrong, but I feel like it's always expected for the man to finish. How do you feel about this? Making someone I care about happy. I am a large straight man, at my last job the two lesbians that worked there were stunned that I was single. I have been riding that high for almost 6 years. That's the TLDR version, the verbatim conversation was. L1, you've got a girlfriend right? Me, nope, still single. L2, really? You aren't dating anyone? Me, that's right, haven't dated in a few years. Both girls look at one another, then back to me, and say in unison. How? Are you sure they didn't just think you were a lesbian? At my first proper job the team in my office started becoming toxic and the one guy I was on good terms with called his girlfriend and I overheard him tell her that I was the only decent guy in the office. As someone who struggled with making and maintaining friends, this made me feel like I am no longer the asshole schoolboy heavily influenced by my asshole father. You've done good work on yourself. You should be proud. The older black lady thing is honestly one of the few things that keep me working in healthcare. Whenever we go camping I always light the fire. Every year someone will try to usurp me and every year I will be dragged away from building my tent because they can't get it going. I am the fire queen. Only you can prevent forest fires, literally. When my wife admits she's wrong. While understandable, I hope you don't make it a sport being right. It will ruin your marriage. It did for me at least. It's all good now as we're back together, and today I pointed out a simple grammatical mistake she made, to which she responded, you're always trying to find faults with me aren't you? To which I replied, no, not always. She could laugh about it fortunately. Does she follow it with a but or a condition? Or will she actually admit she was wrong? I've always wondered what that feels like. When I get to exercise my vast collection of random information I have amassed over the decades of diving into rabbit holes on the internet. Being able to answer the questions most people say who tf even knows this shit, feels so good. 
Makes me feel smart and educated even though I'm a dumb fuck dropout. I have a feeling there's lots of us out there like this. The smartest people I know either have zero formal education, or a ton of it. When I'm on auxiliary and my friends pull up Shazam. A few years ago I was in a pub celebrating my birthday with my phone connected to the speakers and a few times strangers came over and asked for the name of the band. How is this not the number one comment? I was in the mall bathroom and it was packed. While I was gussying up, the toddler next to me points at me and told her mom mommy look she's so pretty. I got shy because there were so many people. He'll never forget you little girl. When my wife handles her own when men are chatting her up. Multiple people have commented on my laugh before but it never really sank in until one of my buddies says man, your laugh is one of my favorite things to hear and that's when I realized maybe I do have it pretty good. When someone says their pet likes me, or if an animal chose to sit in my lap instead of someone else's. That always makes my day. Out of the blue compliments of my abilities at something I love doing. Random compliments from ladies that you have never seen and won't see again in your life on public transport or supermarkets or anywhere public. Surprise sex is always an ego booster. Unless you're in prison. When someone finally admits I'm right. Because they knew it in the first place but had too much pride to admit it. When you realize you're wrong you just gotta keep pushing. For the love of the game. Opening a jar when your girl can't. My grandma reminding me I'm a cutie patootie. This might be the biggest flex of all. Kids don't lie. Votes on Reddit. Here you go poor fella. When I get a good grade in a difficult class. When I am complimented by a stranger to my face. Smiley face. Three weeks ago, I was in a beach in Albania, I came back back from a swim and I found out that a girl left me her at IG. Usually when I'm done weed eating and I can perform hand on hip slash nod slash yep stance. It's bigger than my ex. When you crack a joke in front of a bunch of people and they all laugh. When my fiancé smiles at me. I wish I could explain it. Tinder right swipes. It's such a self-destruction. Receiving a compliment from a woman as a man. When my one-year-old reaches out for my hand to help her down the one tiny step in our garage. It's small, but she knows he'll always be there to take her hand and that makes me feel so useful in this world. That is so sweet. She trusts you fully. Makes your heart swell. My cats purr when I pet them. Every single time. That one compliment I got the November 2nd, 2011 at 12.56 from a female friend at school. Hey guys, it's Reddit Glitch. Thanks for watching to the end of the video. Um, I just wanted to ask you guys to hit the subscribe button because according to my statistics, 98.8% of my viewers are not subscribed, which I think you should subscribe because it's free and uh we're gonna have a lot more bangers in the future so subscribe again thanks for watching bye